This is Jay Himes, PASBO Executive Director. With me today is Matthew J. Malinowski, PRSBA, Director of Business Affairs at the School District of Cheltenham Township in Montgomery County. Matt's a member of the PASBO Board of Directors and chairs our Human Resources Committee. He will be discussing the district's recent collective bargaining agreement with the teachers union in his district. This will be the first in a series of PASBO News Channel YouTube's discussion of agreements reached throughout the state. Matt, can you give us a quick uh, snapshot of your district? Sure. Our operating budget is approximately $96 million. Our aid ratio is 0.2869. We have approximately 5,100 ADMs and approximately 395 professional staff covered by this agreement. Okay. Let's start with uh, sort of the fundamentals in collective bargaining agreement. Uh, during most negotiations, that'd be salary. Tell us about the collective bargaining agreement's future salary scale for your teachers. Sure. We have a three-year agreement. We have a freeze in the first year, and in the two subsequent years, which take us through the end of June 30th, 2014, our teachers will have no additional money infused on the salary schedule. Um, in addition to that, they will only move half steps in the course of the agreement. Okay. Another major uh, negotiation issue is always health care. Does your agreement change health care coverage or does it change premium sharing for teachers? Yes, our um, teachers uh, are paying more for their health care. They're paying 15% um, by the end of the agreement towards their personal choice health care plan as well as we received savings to um, uh, fund health care through the migration to a self-insurance based health care program. Okay. How about um, other changes um, in the collective bargaining agreement that can result in savings to the district? Yep. Um, the other significant change that we had was slowing down the ability of our staff to move horizontally in the salary schedule. Um, they can only move once a year and we limited the number of correspondence and online courses that our professional staff are able to utilize towards moving horizontally on the schedule. Okay. Other changes that will drive expenditure reductions for the district? Yeah, other changes would also include the fact that our 2013 to 2014 projected salary cost for this agreement will not exceed what our 2010 to 2011 salary costs uh, are for the school district. Matt, we've seen a trend and certainly an interest in um, collapsing columns and reducing steps in salary matrices. Does your agreement follow in that direction? Yes, our teachers are only moving a half step in the second two years of the agreement and again we are not adding any additional money to the top of the salary schedule to fund those who are already at max. Um, obviously um, there was a lot accomplished in your, um, in your agreement. What do you think the key towards getting um, a mutual resolution of your bargaining process? What was the key to that? The biggest uh, key was to totally inform both our board who served on the committee as well as our professional staff of the financial situation we faced. We did a five-year projection. We showed them that if we just went status quo, it was going to cost us for even more money than where um, we could afford in a status quo. Um, that really set the stage. Um, we also really knew that we had a critical opportunity here to fix some structural costs that were driving our overall budget once and for all in this agreement and this would be our opportunity to do that in a favorable manner to both the association and for the board of school directors so we've never been through a fact-finding process before we went through that process with our board and we really um, took leadership from an administrative standpoint to say that we needed to do this in order to get some structural cost reductions that would benefit the district long term um, our agreement is actually available online, um, www.cheltenham.org. We have a news section right on the home page. We have a copy of the fact-finding agreement, which is currently our binding um, contract for the next three years. Thanks for sharing your experience with PASBO members, and thank you for watching the PASBO News Channel. If you have a recent uh, collective bargaining agreement that you would like to share via YouTube, please let us know. You can send an email to the PASBO office at pasbo.org. Or you can call the office at 717-540-9551. Again, that email address is pasbo at pasbo.org. Thanks.